Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. Now I've been showing a lot of high end knives recently and uh, I thought I would get back to my roots which is not high ends um, as many people would think if you're just new to the channel and I still have a lot of these type of knives that I just adore and use and, and they get used more than my high end ones and that's the honest truth, you know, you can pretend all you like but I do use my high end ones but not as often as they do these and if I've got any sort of a dirty job this is the type of knife I'll go for uh, I've got one high end one here and we'll leave that to the end you've seen by the title this is Shred both American and Chinese and they are fantastic knives I've got the old uh, I've got three of them which are old USA made and we'll cover them first because they're really good knives this is a US USA made. This is the LB3, I believe it is. Let me just get my wee specs on me. Uh, LB3, yes. This is a beautiful little small knife. Obviously a take of that 110 pattern, but Shred do their own version of it. Beautiful wood on this. It's a little lockback. This is a fifth pocket gem. This one has been used and abused, and it was used before I got it. I got it second hand. Whoever was doing it was a very bad sharpener, but it is a razor sharp little knife. I have it razor sharp, and this is a fifth pocket. Just a super little knife, and one that I can highly recommend. Made in the USA, uh, just super. Look at that wood and the fit and finish in this. This must be a fair wee age, this knife, but it is beautifully fit and finished, and it's been battered and used, and it still is going to be. I adore this little knife. Highly recommend it if you've never tried one. Now they're doing LB3, LB5, LB7, I think, which is up to the same size as a, a, a 110. A buck 110, I should say. So she really do that. All the older companies made that sort of knife. They all sort of copied that buck 110 and made knives to, to get in on the market because buck were really cleaning up. But these, these are, and still, really super knives. I, I just adore this. And this little bottom one is possibly the best little fifth pocket knife. This, as you can see, is a Stockman. And I'm going to give you the numbers because I don't know them off the top of my head. I'm not. A, this is the USA made 34OT from Shred, the old timer, and one of the old shields on it. And we'll see a new shield as we go on. That's the old timer, old shields, and this is in the Delrin, and it is saw cut. Oh, let me just get that up. It's saw cut there, as you can see. But again, a super little functional knife, super little blade. I'll just give you a size on the blades, just so that you you sort of know the main blade. So there you go. It's about two and a quarter cutting edge, two and a quarter cutting edge on that. So <laughs> do an awful lot of work. It's a lovely little knife. It has the Sheep's foot blade, which again gets used, super blade. Love this for precision cutting. And then it has the sexiest little spay blade on any knife. Look at that. I love the little hump on the back here. Look at that little blade. I love using this little blade. It's just a real dinky little blade. And with the steels I had on these, uh, they strop up so well, so quickly. So if you're out working, <laughs> Never mind the strop. My old faithful, the Victorian Ox, brings them back in seconds. Strop it on your jeans. There you are, ready to go again. So that's the old timer 34 OT. Superb knife. Now we're going to go to the Chinese made ones before we get to this final one. This is now my office knife. It sits over over here to the side of me. Um, and I think I might actually do the tools I can. I have a selection of tools over there that I tend to use. And rather than having them in a drawer and I have to hook for them, I have them all laid out uh, beside me there. I wonder if I could just show you that. I'm just going to try and show you that. Let me just get this. Oh, there we go. No, I'm not going to get it. No, it's all right. I'll do a video on it. Don't worry. I'll do a video on my office tools, what I keep there. Now, there's a stack of stuff. You know, most of the time I don't use them, but they're there just in case, and I love having them there. Uh, and I change them regularly, which is nice. So we'll do that. This is now the office knife. This was the office knife, uh, and it's now changed. I've actually also changed my fixed blade to the new Jack Wolf. Love it. But this big one, this is an absolute beast of a knife. This is the Shred's answer to the, I think it's the 85 pattern. 
Um, this one is the old timer and it is the 858 OTB. Now, the B stands for bone. And look at that bone. Look at that beautiful white bone which has been burned and saw cut. It is stunning. Matt Strike pulls, just super pull on them, solid big working knife. Beautiful. Now look down at this. Look at that. Look at down. This is, you know, a, a reasonably priced knife. These are not dear at all. I can't even remember what I paid for it, but look how well them blades are in there. There's not a tiniest bit of blade rub on these knives. So it can be done, you know. It can be done. Look at this lovely little sheep's foot. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest with you, right? It's not the most straightest line. It's a bit wavy, but it is as sharp as a razor because, and I really do feel because, there's the, sorry, there's a the spay blade there, or it's more of a, yeah, it is a spay blade, but it really looks like a spear point. Good size, great size for working. This is a solid big working knife. And this is a 9CR18. So, all right, it's not USA made, but it's, Chinese made, it's a stainless steel 9CR18, somewhere near 440C, so it's a big upgrade, I think it's a big upgrade in steel uh, just beautiful, I love the bolsters, the fit and finish on all of these knives, Look, there's the uh, the 340T the fit and finish on all these are excellent, and I bought these all here in the UK, mostly on the second hand market, super knives this is a real beast of a worker. I really enjoy it. And it's, it's, it's taken off on that large case knife in it. It's very similar to that case knife. Is it the 85 pattern, which is the larger one? That's four and a half inches long, this one closed. Just a big beast of a work knife. And then this one. This is probably my favourite working knife out of them all. This is a little lock back. Lock back. It's in wood. It's that stabilised wood, whatever it is. And this is the new old timer sign that they're putting on now this octagonal or hexagonal whatever it is uh shield it is beautiful beautifully finished polished beautifully look how well that sits in it's been fitted perfectly it's just a gorgeous knife so i mean this is and like this is modern shades listen to that lock up which is beautiful and look at that blade this reminds me of the uh, Vampire Jack from Jack Wolf Knife. That same shape of blade. Very pokey stabby. Still got a bit of belly. Still got a bit of straight. Can do anything. Can do absolutely anything. And that's why it was on my desk for, must be near a year. And then I've changed to this one now. Um, just to give it a change around. I keep meaning to do it more often, but I love this. So it stayed longer. Super knife. Cleaned it all up. And it's just now back in the rotation. Uh, which can mean a long gap in between use. But this one is the 5 OTH, and that's the heritage uh, uh, run of knives, and it's in D2 steel. You can see why this was a great little work knife for the side. Done anything I wanted to do. You know, if I don't have a knife in my pocket, the one that lies on the table is always when I come in to pick one up. That's the one I'm going to lift up. Uh, and this done everything with a plum really beautiful love the wood uh love the way it looks and d2 i love d2 and straight chinese seem to have done this one really well because i only ever had to stop this only ever had to stop it but as is my like i like to put a fancy one in there and this is my fancy shred look at that bolster i think it is stunning now this is not bright shiny. This can be bright shiny, but I tend not to do it because you're rubbing off. You can actually take away material. Unless I'm going to do a specific video on this one knife, I don't polish them up until they need to be polished up. Um, that's right or wrong. It doesn't really matter. And there you have this one. I love this because you have the scrimshaw on it. There's a lovely owl sitting in a tree. It's beautiful. On the other side, you have a, a free cartouche. You could put PPP in there, which I keep threatening to do, but I haven't done yet. And I will do eventually because this is a keeper. You know I love my Barlows. And when they can do an embossed Barlow like this, come on. That is just stunning. Look at the fit and finish on this knife. Again, this is Sharia USA made. So is that. So is that. 
It's just stunning work. Now, this is obviously an older pattern, and I would say this must be when charade were at their height because it is flawless, absolutely flawless. And I'm going to make something a bit clear. When I say flawless, to me, this is flawless because look at the mating up here. Look at the back spring. Look at the mating up here. The pins are all nicely done. They're not flush, but a lot of the times, a while back when they were making knives, the pins were always a bit risen, especially when you want to put it into something like this, which is just hard plastic. Um, you didn't want to force a bigger hole and put things in because you got cracks. That's why this knife, after so many years in use or, you know, in a collection, this is beautiful. It has a gorgeous clip point and then it has a the Shred Scrimshaw on it, which I really like. Um, and... There we have, I mean, there must be a number on this, USA SC398 or 308, or 508, 508 or 509, <laughs> not a baldy notion, can you read it, You read it. maybe a 506, there you go, I forgot I've got a good camera now on my phone, I can just lift it up and I get a close up, so there you go, it's that number, but a beautiful knife, and then you have this lovely little Spear, just a beautiful stumpy, stocky wee thing, so it'll do a right bit of work. Listen to the snap on that. That's why this is just one of my favourite knives, because I'm a Barlow freak. But there's Shred knives, both American and Chinese. If you notice, American are all sort of very similar steels, but the Chinese ones now, they put D2 in this and 9CR18 in this, which is an upgrade. Uh, the 9CR18 is not a huge upgrade, but it is a substantial upgrade. The D2 is just fantastic. I love it in that lockback because that's where it's going to get plenty of use. Uh, and you can bear down, you can use it hard, and you're not going to worry about it whatsoever. But Shred, don't look past them. Don't look past the secondary market because these were... This one I bought new, but I can't remember. I was looking this morning to try and find out where it was and I can't find a site that's selling it at the minute. So I have no idea where I got it from. I might have got it from Europe or something. But if you see them about, I'm telling you, this will rival any case 85. As far as 9CR18 against the case and um, basic stainless steel, this is above that. And the fit and finish, I guess, it's just... It's a marvel that, you know, for the price range that these came in, these were not, none of these were over dear at all. They're all within a budget range. But, well, except for this one. But working knives, really fantastic. Again, secondary market, that's where I buy most of my knives. It's the place to go and get them. So there you go, a little quick one today. Oh, 13 minutes. Lucky for some. Lucky for Patty that you're here watching. Thank you so much for watching. And please... Before you leave today, would you like, would you subscribe if you haven't and comment if you feel like saying a few words? I would really appreciate the subscribe and I really appreciate the like. Thank you very much. I'm away for a wee cup of tea and I play with some more knives. Take care. Bye bye now.